Hey guys, welcome to Aaron's Review and in today's video we have an unboxing video of some iFi products specifically sent to me just for review. Uh, I would like to say a big thank you for iFi for sending these products over. I just want to clarify, they have not told me to say anything positive. Um, they've sent to me as a fair review to see what I feel about the products. Uh, last time I reviewed the hip deck from iFi. Well, this time I'm looking at the Zendak version 2 and uh, IE Match Plus. With the product of the Zendak version 2, retail price of that item is 160 US dollars. Or if you're in the Europe, 159. With the iFi IE Match Plus, this retails for 49 US dollars. Uh, Zendak version 2 came as a perfect time namely because I don't have an amplifier and digital auto converter with my computer right now. Uh, last time I mentioned that I had a QA390, well actually that has now gone and it's been sold. Why did I sell it? Well mainly because even though it had you know XLR 4.4, 3.5, 6.4 uh, millimeter connectors and all that stuff, and uh, what I lacked was just it paired well with any monitors. It gave it its potential, but when it came to a headphone, it felt a bit lacking in what it could do. Uh, even with my luxury position LP6 Gold, um, that drove my the Audio Phantom better. It didn't headphones that well. Even when I did it with the D800 S, again it lacked a bit of you know oomph and the power. Uh, this enormous sound stage so probably I guess that's the reason why I saw the QA390. At the moment with the laptops and computers I don't have anything that is to use my headphones with when I plug it in so perfect timing for this Zendak to arrive at my doors. At the moment very happy with it. Definitely an upgrade to the hip deck version that I tried even though that was quite min miniaturized and small and powerful with its internal battery. Here you that the sound quality has gone up slightly and I think but that will come up in the full review so with today's Zendak, IP Zendak just to clarify there's a lot of products that they offer so things that I've looked at recently or I've been researching considerably a lot uh, within these couple of weeks or months um, is actually you know amplifiers and digital audio converters I mean the QA390 was built beautifully had this potential for any monitors but when it came to headphones it lacked the oomph and the power and at the moment I have two items that I'm kind of fixated in maybe purchasing I'm looking at uh, end game headphone I can tell you clearly what that is and the Abyss 5 Total Consciousness is probably what I'm looking at. I know there's like four versions and there's like the Abyss 1266 original version, which is the one I tried at the shops in Hong Kong. Fantastic headphone, built like a tank. Suddenly when I tested it, they did not have the headband. So I was like kind of holding it by myself, which felt a bit weird. Uh, obviously you're not feeling your ex full experience of what it can do. And that paired very well with the V-Electric 550 amp and that gives it about 6.5 watts of power around that as to fully drive it, giving, driving it to its full potential as far as I feel. One of the end game headphones, you know, you probably think, well, why, why are you jumping into that area? Well, as I said, any monitors, I think I found my end game. I found it with the LP6 Go, that is the end game player right now that you can buy with Kamala E monitors. I am using the Unique Melody Mess. Here is the IE Match. Removes hiss, improves dynamics, balance or single ender 3.5 and 2 versions available. Adjustable for high ultra sensitive earphones, ultra minus 24 dB and high gain is minus 12 dB sensitivity adjust. Compatible with digital audio players headphone amps. So I would probably say with what we've got in front of us, this IE Match Plus would probably be worthwhile for the Android media as I know that is quite a sensitive uh, any monitor uh, as far as I know because my friend has it. This is actually the 3.5 millimeter headphone version. I probably would have preferred a 2.5. Is it 2.5 or 3.5? Um, it is 3.5. I would have preferred this side being 2.5 because most of my gear is 2.5. But hey, anyway, they have two versions, 3.5 and 2.5. Preference wise for me is 
2.5, but don't worry, I can still test it. And in regards to the iFi Zen hip that version 2, which is this one. Big box, well built, I can say. High res dank amp, Zen dank. This is version 2. Find it in a can with either Zen series. Um, perfect for your computers to be tucked under your, for instance, my iMac. I've got under my iMac, there's nothing right now, so I could probably tuck, tuck this in. And it will give you fantastic sound that is better than obviously from your computer. Uh, let's talk about some of the box information. Find your Zen, get your major uplift in music per enjoyment with the Zen deck. Headphone jar, work or play, connect via USB to your computer, laptop and stream bit perfect audio through your IEMs, headphones or active speakers. Multi-talented Zen deck as a preamp by hooking up the balanced 4.4 output at, at the rear via XLR to a balanced amplifier active speakers. Now using the 16 core XMOS chip, which allows the product to fully decode MQ and run DST256 on the same firmware due to the extra processing power of the chip. So roughly speaking, this version two has a bit more power as to drive better quality sound or converting it better. Uh, new improved low jitter clock with greater than 20 dB per performance features. Formats PCM, bit perfect DST and DXD, digital inputs 3.0. Uh, USB 2.0 compatible, uh, which comes inside the writing. Uh, there are analog output 6.3 millimeter unbalanced and 44 millimeter balance and an RCA at the back. Uh, as far as I can tell, 4.4 balance has the better power, so I recommend using 4.4 millimeter balance. Uh, power match adjustment for IEMs and over ears, just to so that the, both, if you're testing two A E monitors or headphones, you can better test them so that they are both equivalent, as, as far as I know. True bass to add bass to any monitors or headphones, which I think is probably what I recommend because you feel a bit more emotional uh, when this is turned on. Uh, precision analog volume control, which feels smooth and it sticks out a little bit, which I'll show you in a minute. And input USB 3.0, uh, 2.0 compatible. 4.41, 48, and so, so forth. DXT, MQA, bit perfect, DXT by Bird Brown. And here is a bit more information. Balance is 2.6 to 6.24 ma uh, max. Uh, and balance, RCA 1.4 3.3 volts max. So you can see here the balance has a little bit more power. So that's why I recommend using the balance. Less than equal to 200 ohms or less than equal to 100 ohms. Uh, so for headphone select section, output balance 2.66.2 volts, same again. Uh, if it's output power, 380 milliwatts at 50 ohms, 700 milliwatts at 600 ohms. And, and balance is 280 and 36 milliwatts. So you can see that definitely balance is the better one. And if you have that, I recommend that. You got 12 years warranty. Weight of this item is 491 grams. Dimension is 458 times 117 times 35 millimeter or 6.2 with 4.6 and 1.4. And iFiAudio.com made and well assembled in China, but technology licensed from UK. Uh, the bottom is a green box. Nothing much here. Um, at, the, at the bottom, you can, t which is quite nice, it's a bit like, oh, here's the Apple specification. You can see clearly what it has. We have the balance so that you can connect it to some amplifiers and speakers, as they mentioned. Uh, variable fixed on variable. Uh, you can plug this into speakers. This is the inputs. There is a power supply which takes in five volts. Just to let you know, it does not come inside the box, which when I first opened it, I thought, wait, I don't have anything to turn it on. Actually, it doesn't need the power adapter, which is why it doesn't come with it. Uh, you are able to use the USB 3.0 cable as to power this little device. And yes, and it works perfectly well with me using an Apple ecosystem. I just plug it in and it automatically detects this little device and that was similar to the hip deck as well with but i think the hip deck was a bit more software it was a bit it wasn't glitchy it, it sometimes found it sometimes i have to replug and then it will it will find it again but with the ifa zendak version 2 every time i plug it in it knows that 
th there is a new device and I can uh, then select the source as to use the internal speaker or the external one here. Now, so what's one of the things that you should know, but if you connect a five volt power supply to the Zen V2, it gets me more power. You can also connect the Zen V2 to a smartphone via USB that way. If you want to use a Windows computer or laptop, you can install a driver. If you want to play MQ in Tidal, the driver can be downloaded. I will give you the link below here in the description so that you can see where it is. Uh, information about this product or these two products will be provided in the video below here. So let's just do the quick unboxing. Uh, sorry, again, I've walked, talked a lot right now because I've been doing a lot of research on headphones. As you know, the Abyss is probably one of my end games. You know, go to the very top and don't buy anything below that so that you have to sell it back and lose money more. So that's what I've been thinking. Get the top one, get the top grade, and then that's it. Maybe finish or maybe wait for something even better or slightly bit different sound signature or as to pair it with your current headphones right so here box was quite simple you, as you said you can see here here's the front and then here's the back so quite quite clear what you're getting um, within the picture description on the box and um, if you open it it just slides open like that and you've got information information that tells you what to do you got power match button and it turns on there's no turning on and off button as far as i can tell uh, when you plug it in the light just here in the volume just turns green and after that you are able just to plug in your adapters and things as to make it work so let's just put that on the side we have the DAC amp, the iFi Send DAC version 2. Um, inside we have nothing else. Here we have a box that contains valuable equipment. So as I said, when I first opened the box, I thought, wait, there's no power supply. How can I make this work? Did they forget? Actually, they did not forget. It's because it doesn't need one. So let me just bring everything else on the box. So here we have the iFi warranty card. After sales, access the website, complete your name, system details, provide as much information as possible, and that's it. That's how you register this product. Uh, as I said, uh, I am being sent this as a sample. I do need to send it back. They have not paid me to say anything positive over this item. Uh, so I can say if it's bad, it's bad, or not up to scratch. Uh, once I fully tested and reviewed it. And here is the cable that allows you to plug it into your speakers. Um, cable is brown. Connection-wise, it's got iFi logo here. And obviously you got colors just to, to tell you which one's which. It's quite short, nothing long. Um, it's just a small box. Y you are only paying about 160 US dollars for this. The iFi Zen DAC version 2 also comes this with, with the 6.3 millimeter adapter. This side goes into the and balance wire, which is the 6.3 millimeter. And then obviously this side is this connection is the 3.5 millimeter. So for all headphones that use 3.5 millimeter, but as I said, I recommend using the 4.4 millimeter balance. And I am using a 4.4 millimeter cable plugged into this side. And then the other side is 2.5 millimeter, uh, but that's my own cable. You have the USB cable. This cable, um, personally, I feel it could be a little bit short. Uh, I wouldn't mind if this was a slightly longer cable, just a bit, a little bit longer, and depending on where my usage is. So when I first tried it with my laptop, uh, obviously these these new toys, I have to hide it somehow. So rough, well, I have to hide it from my other half. So once. So my laptop's in front of me, my obviously the iFi DAC Zen here, which is this. Oh wait, let's talk about very quite nice weight. So it feels premium, doesn't feel anything cheap. You're getting a little weight here. Um, but definitely much bigger than the hip flask that I hear, but obviously you're definitely getting more power and oomph here. Um, I'm loving the feel. You can see here there is actually bits that sticks out. So there's like a 
kind of a polygon shape here where you can fully feel where the, it is and you can see with this knob or dial here that where the volume is at the moment this is what minimum is or zero and then you can go right up all the way now if I were to pair a bit of headphone for instance to feel all the oh, um, phantom I would probably say it's about here to 11 o'clock that is probably enough and obviously there'll be a bit of green light to tell you it's turned on and uh, it might turn blue depending on the sample file that you've been sending if it's MQA we have here um, power match true base and I think true base is the one that I definitely prefer and then we have the six unbalanced cable which is 6.3 millimeters we have balance recommend that you use balanced here at the bottom we have some um, feet to raise it a little bit higher does it get hot no it doesn't get hot we have the 4.4 millimeter balance so as to plug into your speakers variable and fixed here balance here as i said iFi logo we have the uh, connections for the speaker cables here for the right and left uh, MQA balance we have the digital input which is 3.0 we have the Zenda V2 QR code and as I said we have a uh, 5 volts AC adapter and you can see clearly that this is this is version 2 of the V2 here and yeah very good and sexy looking definitely I would prefer the look of this and the feel of this than the hip deck. Um, as I said, in regards to this little device, my recommendation is probably, hmm, depending on my scenario, if it's right under my iMac, um, definitely this isn't long enough because it just tucks it underneath. But due to the fact that I was hiding the little device from, well, my, my wife, um, so I had to plug into my laptop here and then my device was here as to hide it behind my laptop so that's probably I guess reason why I think that this cable is slightly not long enough uh, I'm sure yes I can buy another cable which will be enough to do this and uh, notice that this is 3.0 you can see that the connection is slightly different with 2.0 that's backward compatible and uh, in regards to the iFi IE Match Plus I have actually not unboxed it yet so let me just quickly get my pen knife and see what it feels like as I said is to reduce noise and hiss this is the TRS balance 3.5 millimeter headphone sensitivity matching device and here we have regained 1624 bits uh, specification 24 high gain sensitive adjustments TRS for single ended balance uh, six and silver copper matrix wiring with final 6063 T5 aluminum magnesium alloy shell gold plated printed circuit board with adjusted audio file components MELF resistors gold plated 3.5 millimeter male female connectors input 16 ohms output is 2.5 ohms for high sensitivity and 1 ohms for ultra high sensitivity weight of this product is 12.8 grams total length is 116 which is 4.6 uh, travel accessories included include gold plated airplane adapters soft foam contour ear plugs fabric travel plugs um, 49 US dollars is what this cost is and you can see clearly on the side it tells you what is included the gold plated earphone adapter soft foam contour ear plug and fabric travel pouch and here's what it looks like preference wise balance connection high or ultra sensitivity custom helix construction design 6n silver copper matrix wiring final 6063 t5 alloy casing and top nothing else so let's just get this opened i'll open from the bottom Oh, very well packaged, very well presented. What do you think? If you take it out, you can see, whoa, it looks like everything's like here is everything that you need. We have the iFi 
noise isolation plug. We have some IE mesh manual. We tells you what it is. Audio signal input, female, three milli, three point five millimeter male plug connect to the audio output of the smartphone digital audio player or music source. So that's that. TRS balance switch single ended. So that's what that is. That's for number two. And then for number three is the cable, which this is here. It's quite a short cable, I think. Number four which is the IE match for headphones any more adjust the desired volume on the go to ensure a safe comfortable listening level whilst at the same time enjoying lower background noise and maximum dynamics there are two sensitive settings high for high sensitive e headphones ultra for ultra sensitive headphones uh, feel free to try both which uh, while listening as to see which best fits you I think yes. And then other side is audio signal output, which is 3.5 millimeter plug. There is a 2.5 millimeter plug as mentioned. Here we have the noise reduction e tip thing. Not too sure I can do that. And inside we have the airplane adapter, which is obviously 3.5 millimeter on this side because we have a 3.5 millimeter connection. Let me just test that quickly just to double check for you. And yeah. Okay, so 3.5 aeroplane plug. Cable is quite simple. So if you think about my connector, is that, that two point something, two point two and a half of that. Uh, as I say, there's a switch at the bottom, which means balance or SE. And then on this side, we have hi-fi logo with sensitivity with high and ultra. You will see that. And then QR code. Inside here, we have the pouch, which is like this, so that you can put all this into one bag so as to carry it for travel. And roughly, this is the two products that I have received from iFi. And I know that with this product, definitely recommend it for those who have um, sensitive any monitors that hiss quite a lot. And at the moment, I don't think I have many of this within my possession that will have that hissing sound, but I do know that my friends mentioned that Andro Media is probably one of the ones that do a lot of hissing, depending on your source. Uh, with the iFi Zen Deck version 2, this came at the perfect time. As I said, I don't have a amp deck for my computer right now. So at the moment, I'm currently using this and it feels premium. I'm actually loving how it feels right now. Smoothness, cold, and it's made well built it just works right now and yeah so two products from i've uh, from iFi the iFi Zendak version 2 which retails 159 US dollars we have the IE Match Plus which is uh, i recall 49 dollars uh, everything will be provided in the link below and uh, so in the next video um, i'm going to be doing a full review of these two products um, i'm guessing it'll be together we will do the IE Match Plus. I'll need some time to test it. And then the Zen DAC version 2. I will see if I'm able to plug this into a speaker somehow. I do have I do have a speaker, I think. I can plug it into to see how it drives it. I'm still doing more research. Research on the Abyss. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.